You don't need some expensive panel or joystick to add a bunch of buttons to your simulator setup. Here's how to set that up using SIM dashboard. First, you'll need your device. We're going to use the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra because it's huge, but you can do this on most tablets or phones. The process should be the same for every device. You also don't need a steering wheel to make use of this. It's just as helpful to have if you're playing on a controller or a keyboard as well. Next, you're going to need the SIM dashboard app from whatever store is compatible with your device. Then just follow the instructions on your screen for your selected platform. I've put the link to the PC app in the description so you don't need to type it in when it prompts you. Once that's done, you'll have the option to connect with either Wi-Fi or with a cable. The Wi-Fi one actually works great if your connection is solid, but wired will reduce the delay and of course let you charge your device at the same time if you need to. I would go with wired if you have the spare USB ports. Now on the PC side, you'll need to select your game. It will probably start looking something like this. Most of the time, you just need to press this button to add the game compatibility, launch the game, and it should prompt you on your device to open that game's dashboard. Some games do require a couple extra steps, like Farm Sim, which requires a mod. From here, we need to choose or build our dash on our tablet or phone. Hit the pencil in the top right and the plus in the bottom right. Adding widgets will allow you to build your own dashboard made for pre-made functions and templates are full pre-made dashes that you can add to or modify. At the top here, you can also go to the community tab and see dashboards built by other users. These are amazing and also the fastest way to start. By now, you've probably noticed that some of these features require a pro subscription. I would say it's worth it, especially compared to a $200 control panel, but you may also be able to get away with the free version as well. Test your selected panel within your game and you're good to go. For a driving dashboard, you'll want to put this somewhere you can see while keeping your eyes on the road. For a button panel, you should probably have this off to the side, somewhere easy to reach. Now for a couple of pro tips. There is a dark mode for sim dashboard. If you play your games in a dark room like me, then the default light mode can be pretty blinding. You can change that here in the settings on the device. The app may default to kilometers per hour or miles per hour, depending on your region. You can change this manually here in the settings and similar settings for temp, pressure, weight, etc. I would recommend making an account as well. So if you need to switch devices, you can sync any of your custom dashboards and use them on your new device. Last thing, if you have one of these foldable phones like Samsung Z Fold series, the app will actually support full screen, meaning you may have a whole dashboard in your pocket right now. That's all for now. But if you have any questions or anything to add for other users, please drop them in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I can. I have plenty more simulator tricks and gear for you as well. So if you want to get the most out of your simulator, games, then don't forget to subscribe.